check it out. Sure. So, so the Munadara Initiative is a pan-Arab organization that seeks to promote healthy, uh, constructive, and vibrant debate mm -hmm. uh, across the entire region, uh, especially the debate that involves uh, youth, women, marginalized communities. Some of the voices that you hear the least in the Arab public sphere mm -hmm. are at the core of the mission of this um, initiative. It started in Tunis in 2012, mm -hmm. uh, and it promotes these voices through online debates. So there are video debates of up to 99 seconds that you can submit. Mm -hmm. uh, these are essentially opinion videos that youth from anywhere can uh, submit to our platform. Um, we have outreach workshops, training workshops across, uh, again, the entire Arab region. Uh, and then, of course, uh, most famously, we have our television programs. Uh, we've produced 38 debates, uh, televised primetime debates, since our inception in 2012. Yeah, we discovered actually Mudadara during that time, and that the huge organization of that event is not really easy for a, an emerging NGO, which is not really easy also to collaborate with national institutions, so it's really great. The idea is amazing, so bringing all those politicians to, to, to speak about their programs and to, to, to be there just for people to ask them some questions. And here comes the 99 speech of the president, which is also the idea of Mudadara, to bring these uh, these previous candidates to speak about their work but when they are chosen now as a president he he committed himself to come and he came actually it is not really totally what you planned for because it seems that things have changed from the the first phase till uh, the outcome that came uh, let's uh, sincerely say it was not really satisfying for most of the Tunisians, let me say, because those are around me, some friends, some people have been speaking about the speech, they were not really satisfied. Literally, let's say professionally speaking from journalists, from the institution, establishment institution, or even the speech of the president himself. So was it what you really wanted? No, it wasn't quite what we wanted. Uh, we had envisaged for 99 days, you know, the idea was born uh, at the beginning of Tunisia Decides last year when we were designing the program uh, around April of 2019. And what we had in mind, just, just to tell you the general idea, was that you know there is a, a, a very justified frustration with political discourse, electoral discourse, and the promises that are made by candidates and then not kept. This is a global problem. It's so easy to make these electoral promises. Mm -hmm. People believe that you're going to actually act on these promises. They vote for, for you mm -hmm. and then you're in office and you just ignore your promises. So we wanted to uh, create an innovative way to tackle this program, the, this problem. And uh, so the idea is that at the end of each of these electoral debates that you've seen for the presidential and uh, parliamentary elections last fall, mm -hmm. uh, we asked every candidate to declare in 99 seconds their priorities and electoral promises for the first 99 days in office. Mm -hmm. And the idea was to tie that segment of 99 seconds directly into a program that happens on the 99th day after they take office. Mm -hmm. So. The idea was that it would be rebroadcast and that we that we would dissect every single promise uh, that the candidate has made in order to see if they've actually acted on that promise. Uh, the idea was also that we would have a lively town hall event. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, and I mentioned earlier, the Munada Initiative places tremendous value on the bottom-up approach of allowing citizens to get directly involved in, in our programs. So we have actually been collecting questions for the president throughout the month of, of January and in mm -hmm. fact in December we started. So these questions were really tied to the president's record of uh, in office for the first mm -hmm. 99 days. A lot of questions, more than 130 submissions from all 24 governorates and I'm really grateful to the team that made this, this possible. Yeah. Um, now as you know what we're also trying to do is to establish a precedent for this kind of thing that doesn't exist in the Arab world. So we're, mm -hmm. we're collaborating with institutions uh, that uh, together with the Munadara Initiative allow us to achieve greater audiences and more impact. And as you know, the uh, Tunisia Television is, is a key partner in this that we worked with mm -hmm. uh, and we have to make compromises. Uh, and they have resulted in a degree of frustration that I share. Uh, in terms of the outcome of Thursday night. Yeah. Um, I would have wished for there to be, you know, more persistent follow-up questions, a deeper kind of look at exactly what, it, what the answers are that the president is giving. 
uh, we had agreed that the citizen questions that we crowdsourced from the platform would actually be displayed in, form, in the form of videos. Yes. Uh, that didn't happen. Instead, the Munadara questions from the platform were read by the moderator. A lot of these things, you know, so um, I share the frustration. I do agree it wasn't a perfect program, but I'd also like to emphasize, uh, and this is, a, I realize this is a long-winded question, uh, answer to your question, but I really want to emphasize the the symbolism and the precedent that we created on Thursday is not to be underestimated. This has not happened anywhere in the Arab world. Mm -hmm. For an elected leader to come back, despite all the flaws, to come back and uh, stand uh, in in the studio and and and, and answer uh, and and uh, you know uh, the the accountability uh, symbolism is very very important and it, it has a lot of potential know to rectify this really problematic uh, relationship between the governing and the governed in the Arab world you know so yes think... yes it needs to be uh, improved but for sure if we want to look at the how full side of the bottle yes it is an unprecedented event and having the president right there answering the questions that's a good step now another initiative is still keeping on doing and improving things and they have their own vision of how to improve things politically for youth and encourage them to be more involved, more interactive, more uh, participative in the political process. You are coming up also with that 99 days for the legislative where MPs are going to be president, present and answer some of the questions of the citizens and inquiries. So how is thing, how are things going? You know, there are um, obviously some complexities that we're trying to navigate <laughs> that are related to the political situation. Um, however, uh, the idea is, uh, you know, in, in the advanced planning stage, mm -hmm. uh, as you know, the 99th day um, of, uh, of the mandate of the current parliament is on the 20th of February. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we are uh, developing a concept for uh, that is much closer to our original vision of what we wanted to do with the president. Is it going to be in the same, same, same process on television, broadcast on television? Uh, you know, we're open to broadcasters uh, generally, just like we have been in the mm -hmm. presidential and parliamentary elections. As a matter of fact, uh, we strongly believe and um, are driven by uh, our own theory of change which is that you know it is important for these events to actually be simultaneously broadcast and reach as many people as possible mm -hmm. that's why we organized on thursday night a very large number of broadcasters it wasn't only on Qatani, as it was on six television channels so yes yes that's our approach we would like for for this particular event to be broadcast simultaneously on multiple channels uh, because this is important for Tunisian democracy, it's important for voters, uh, and indeed it's important for candidates as well. We want to give them an opportunity to defend their record mm -hmm. and uh, answer some questions about what they did uh, since they've been elected. So what is your vision of a most improved version? Uh, I, I truly believe that uh, a format that uh, allows citizens directly to interact with candidates mm -hmm. is a very promising and it would be a, a great innovation for the Tunisian public sphere. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen anything like this before. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really ultimately uh, the citizens to whom they have to provide an account of what they did. Um, of course, there's going to be a moderator, but I think the direct interaction with the citizens who uh, can act as a proxy for all of these other citizens who are watching and mm -hmm. recognize themselves in those citizens, mm -hmm. uh, I think that's uh, a really important element and we'd love to see it for the 99 Days program. With, uh, so the 99 Days is going to be on the 20th of February? That's the 99th day. Now, of course, as you know, there are uh, there is a, a, a fast-moving situation that's in flux. We don't know what's going to happen until then, but we are ready to put on this event on the 20th of February. Great, great. So here you are putting really the level very high concerning some of the projects that you are leading. So uh, what's next after the 99 uh, minutes and 90? So how is the process first? It seems that it is going through a process of the platform, this Tunisia decides, so where people have to post things. So yeah. Yeah, so our platform mm -hmm. is um, accepts questions from citizens 
mm -hmm. uh, to uh, at the moment, you know, we're still closing the process for Kaisa Sayyid because mm -hmm. that was the full the full focus until Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, but going forward, we will be accepting questions for uh, elected uh, officials in the parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea is you uh, you can use your phone or you can go to the website and upload a video of up to ninety nine seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be a lot less, uh, but uh, what we're looking for is pertinent questions, relevant questions to uh, the uh, elected officials in the parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, then we actually go on to promote those uh, videos through our social media. We have a large Facebook presence. We also have an ongoing media partnership with EFM uh, Radio, um, where we present on a weekly basis uh, this, this idea. And, um, and then uh, later, when it comes to the television program, our editor-in-chief will select a number of questions mm -hmm. uh, um, or, uh, in fact, a number of citizens who could, who could then pose those questions inside a televised program. That's the idea. Cool. So, so for all those who are listening, program as well. yes. yeah. So for all those who are listening, so you, they have just to upload in ninety-nine second. Yeah, ninety-nine seconds. Ninety-nine two. second questions or question. So, uh, where uh, actually, why this selection of ninety-nine? You know, it's um, it's it's interesting you should ask, but. Um, when we started this debate platform back in 2012, we had to come up with some way of limiting the, the, the time uh, during which you can make your video contribution to a debate. Mm -hmm. uh, it has to be something. It could have been a minute, it could have been two minutes. And we studied, you know, just, just how many words can you put in uh, a minute, a minute and a half, or two minutes. And it turned out that about a minute and a half is a really good time to put forward uh, a, a, a solid argument backed up with evidence and arguments uh, and perhaps some stats. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's how that came into being. We could have made it 100 seconds, but it had to be <laughs> something. And we felt 99 seconds is just so nicely under something else. Yeah, you know? 99. Yeah, it's... Um... It's like a number that you are marketing the product, so it sticks to the mind. 99 seconds. Yeah, this is cool. So um, for those who are really interested, yes, why? Uh, why not? As asking the question that is really um, trying to trouble you or upset you in a way concerning MPs. So look in their program and ask the right question about their program. Are they working on that? Are they doing a great job of that? Are they trying to respect that or not? So in a way. So uh, you upload it on the platform Tunisia Decide, so it's very easy if we the www.tunisiadecides and uh, Munada, the team there, they are doing a great job in trying to to work on that logistically speaking and they are doing uh, that fantastically. What's next? So here you are working on that, you've been with the president's speech and the, and the debate working on that, you are planning for this upcoming event. What's next after this 99? So um... It's going to be a very interesting year, <laughs> that I can say. Um, we have a couple of programs that we're working on that combine both uh, uh, national work mm -hmm. uh, in Tunisia as well as regional work across the Arab world, which is sort of the, the most of the work we've been doing in the past few years. Yes. But also.